you know, I, there's not much I can say. Obviously, they were very, very good. Um, you know, if you tell us we're going to get 83 points and have five guys in double figures, uh, you'd feel pretty good about yourself. And you'd never, you know, we've been, we're not the best defensively that we've been, but we're pretty good. And we had no answers tonight for, with them. Uh, you know, again, I told our guys after, learn from the best. They're the best right now. Uh, they play together. They share the ball. They move the ball. Uh, they all have advanced their games. Obagi's improvement over his time. Christian's improvement. Jalen's improvement. Uh, McCormick's improvement. Uh, each one has gotten better and better. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's ironic, too. I think it's very similar to the game at our place in that we made everything in the first half and they struggled, but we just couldn't sustain it and find a way to get them in the second half where – you know, this time um, they made everything in the first half and you thought we were, you know, down 10 and they made every shot. You made me feel like at halftime we can kind of turn it around, but it, it didn't stop. We couldn't stop the bleeding. And, uh, you know, it's it's they got they got going and Obachi is really good. He made a couple that I don't know if Mike McGurl, he, he got kicked a couple times. He, you know, they said he fouled him once and he still made him so. Uh, very, very good player. Uh, he's, you know, struggled a little bit after COVID, but he obviously he was better, pretty special tonight. Thank you, Coach. We'll start with questions. Kellis, you want to go ahead? Uh, so, Bruce, off the top of your head, how are they getting so many open shots tonight? They just moved the ball really well. And I told the, the players after, I said, do you hear Coach Self? He just keeps saying, move it, move it. And they get it side to side. And any even good defenses uh, will break down. If you, and that's the secret to basketball, you know, that if you if you move the defense and and make it, you know, and you got they got so many weapons, and they it was a night they were all clicking. You know, it's just uh, and they made they, you know, they missed a couple of those, maybe you don't, they don't. They don't feel in that in that groove in that magic level, and uh, but we could just never get them to miss, you know. So it's uh, you know, and then they when they you know their bench really hurt us, and their bench is not especially scoring has not been one of their stellar parts of their team, and the bench gets I think thirty one. Lightfoot has maybe a career high, um, you know. The Lance jumped up and made shots. They were they were just clicking. Um, you know, and, and, you know, we, we obviously, if we're going to have any chance to do anything down the stretch, we got to be better defensively. And um, Mike mentioned afterward that uh, he thought the guys need to play with a little bit more pride in the last couple of games. Is that a talking point afterward? I didn't hear what you said. I'm sorry, Kels. I, I, I said Mike pointed out that he wanted the guys to play with a little bit more pride moving forward. Was that a talking point after the game? Yeah, I mean, that was all of us, you know, the effort has got it. I don't, again, I, it's not like we didn't play hard or something, but you, if you're going to beat that kind of team, you got to have a little more pride, especially on the defensive end. Um, you know, today it wasn't the rebounds that beat us. Obviously they just made shots. So there weren't many rebounds to have. All right. Thanks for your Next questions for coach. Go ahead, Tim. Bruce, this was Marquise's first night, uh, first time playing in Allen Fieldhouse. How do you feel like he, he handled himself? Obviously, twenty points. Uh, he had, I mean, he had a couple couple air balls there, but overall, how do you think he handled himself? Well, you know, obviously, Marquise has made a lot of improvement um, since the start of the season. I just think sometimes, and I've said it to him since he came this summer, he, he just sometimes carries it too far. And, and you know, let simple basketball do your work. I, I don't, you know, they made some tough shots today, but they, they play simple basketball and, and play off each other. 23, 24 assists. Obviously, you get assists when you make shots, but, um, you know, they, they – and that's the thing. That's my only thing with him. You know, be happy with simple, good basketball. You don't have to keep doing other things. You know, you, you get 20 points and you have eight assists, but the five turnovers, you know, that's just too many if you're going to have a chance. And the turnovers led the transition. 
not only his, but uh, yeah, we had too many of them, and they and scores led to transition. Uh, they got it out quick. They pushed it up, and we just weren't ready to combat that. But you know, I mean, our guards are good. Uh, you know, I, I, they couldn't stop us either. To be honest, uh, you know, it's just they, um, you know, just too much, too much to deal with tonight with all of them playing at that level. It seemed like going into halftime, you guys had kind of weathered a storm. What, what was kind of the message coming out of half? You know, that, you know, obviously we have to stop them. And we talked about this similar to the game at our place where they, you know, they were, we had them by whatever, 15 or so at halftime. And they were, you know, you're going to fight back, get back in the game. They're going to miss. But obviously they didn't miss. Uh, they kept it going. Um, you know, but that, that was the message. We're still there. I thought there was a couple key times in the first half where we cut it to, you know, maybe five or six, and it looked like we had a momentum and within two possessions, um, you know, they jump it back into double digits. And uh, that, you know, I thought that was probably the key parts of the game where, you know, if we're going to have a chance to keep it, we're there, not playing free and loose. Um, you know, we had to put a little pressure on him. We just never could. Uh, next question to Arnie. Arnie, you can go ahead. I think you're muted, Arnie. I swear I hit unmute. Sorry. <laughs> um, you talked about after the, the first KU game was pretty devastating just the way you lost it is it sometimes easier to bounce back from from one like this yeah I, I don't you know it's still you hope it, it that it you know they they have some pride now they want to come back um, obviously that one was it was it was hard to deal with because we we thought we outplayed them for pretty much most of the game we just didn't win it at the end some things didn't go our way um, you know, and, and, you know, we didn't make the shots, the plays, they made some shots, free throws. We never got to the free throw line and, you know, it hurt. Um, you know, I, 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 I hope they take this right and they come back with some pride. Uh, we didn't have a great practice yesterday. It's probably the, maybe the worst. And, and maybe since I got back from COVID in, in, in July and January, um, you know, and, and they've been so good in practice and it was not very good. Uh, we got to have better. They got off tomorrow. We got to have better practice on Thursday and good preparation, um, you know, for Iowa State on, on Saturday. This team has been pretty resilient. Do you feel like like they're gonna gonna be able to to put this behind them? And uh, I just I just told Stan and Wyatt that you know they've been unbelievable how they've come back. And usually players are uh, you know more resilient than the fans and the coaches and the and the media. Um, you know, and it, I I. I hope they're going to come back. I hope they want it. They've had great pride. They've worked their asses off to give themselves a chance to fight through so many things. And uh, we've come too far to, to stop. And I, I hope that's what they feel. Thanks. Yep. Uh, next question to Michael. Is, is Nigel Pack getting the kind of shots you want to see him get? Well, you know, at halftime, I think he, what was he from three, three for five? Um, people are locking into him. Um, you know, other guys are going to have to make plays. They're not going to give him the same plays we uh, we ran in the first half of the season when they scout you. You know, they take them away. So now we, you know, the, our big emphasis was keep playing basketball. And, and we're going to have to help him by uh, – other guys getting shots. Obviously, the shot to his leg, you know, really hampered him a little bit. Um, you know, but he – and he's got a playmate for other guys also. When they do a good job of getting into him, he's got – I thought he rushed a couple in the first half. I said something to him. Let the game – don't let them hurry you up. Um, you know, he's been so good. Um, you know, you can't continue what he – the pace he was going at. But, you know, I, I hopefully we can get him back and he can – Get, get a hot streak here down the stretch. Thank you. Yep. Uh, next question to Ryan. Hey, Coach, can you pinpoint why tonight's outcome was, was so drastically different from the first time you guys met early in the season? I didn't, I didn't hear the first part. I heard the 
from Could you the first time. Why tonight's outcome was so much different than the first time? I, they played really well. They're playing well at home. Um, you know, I, 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 you know, we played unbelievable in the, you know, first half against them, and uh, you know, it's they were they're good. That's they're in first place. They're one of the best teams in the country. I, again, I, you know, you tell me I'm, we're getting 83, and we got five guys in double figures, nine steals. Win the rebound battle, you know, you feel pretty good, but obviously <laughs> they they're the ones that have a easy victory at the end. Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach. Yeah. Next question to Grant. Hey coach. Uh sorry if it went over my head, but what exactly went wrong in practice yesterday? They just didn't practice well. They weren't uh cut in like we need to be. Uh, you know, and, and, you know, and I, like I said, I, it's, they've been unbelievable in practice. They, they great leadership, you know, and yesterday it just, there was just a couple guys that were not quite where they needed to be. And, and that I just told, I challenged Marquise, I challenged Nigel, I challenged the, the older guys, Mike, you know, we can't have that again. You got to hold people accountable, um, you know, and have good practice, especially down the stretch. You know, we we didn't do anything on Sunday, just shot and walked through. And, you know, I I know it's late in the year and we played some, you know, two overtime games. We played some malicious minutes. Uh, and I know practice is hard, but, uh, you know, if it, this is it, it's going to be gone. It's going to be over soon. So your focus has got to be there as we move into this next stretch. And I don't know if it's possible, but have you guys discussed possibly getting one more non-con game in before the season? Yes, ends? we have. Uh, we we we're we're looking into it. To be honest, uh, you know, I don't know where we fit it in. Do you let it affect the you know your preparation for the games coming up? Um, you know, we're going to have to have some good fortune go our way to be able to get one more win or one more game to hopefully get one more win. But uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks, Coach. Safe travels back to Manhattan. Ryan, did you have another question? No, nope, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Arnie. Oh, go ahead, Arnie. I'm good. I'm sorry. I just didn't pick. Okay. Thank you, Coach.